Good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless Bezrat Hashem that we will all have the support to greet Mashiach Tzitken Bachamim Bein Bimra Be'amenu Amen. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishpili Al-Gradi. May we all have the good to see the building of Beit HaMikdash HaShishi B'mera B'amenu Amen. I invite you to the Zion. You are going to be the Zion, because you are the Lord. Hashibenu Adonai Lecha B'nashu Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. May we all have the good to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle, and may we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. B'shem Hashem Naseh V'Natzliach, Ain Od Milvado. Hashem Sfatai Tiktach Ufiye Giti Latecha. And everything that we do is for Kol Yisrael. Amen. Today's shiur is the Luni Shmat David Ben Ben Ephraim and Olad Me Osnat Alav Shalom Tiri Shutov Tzorav Tzorav Chayim Abal Shel Madlena. Amen. That was very. We know it's mamash matim because we are we are speaking in Parashat Ekev and, and King Solomon says Ekev Anavai Rata Shem because of of humbleness there's the fear of Hashem. This is mamash David Alav Shalom. So it's mamash matim lo. Mamash, he, he was humble. This is how I remember him. Humble, he didn't speak a lot, but he was always with a bright face. I remember I went once to a wedding in the Georgian shul. One of the one of the people in the Georgian shul, and and there wasn't a place to sit. So David, Allah Shalom, called me and he said, "You sit over here." And I said, "Avalo, no, I don't want to take. I don't want to take. I don't want to take a place of somebody." He said, "No, your family, come and sit. I can't forget this. As Bashamayim, they don't forget this too. I can't forget this. This generosity and a light in the face, always with a smile." and with kindness, Baruch Hashem Ben Porat Yosef. So dear ladies, this is in his chut Bezrat Hashem, and may his chut protect us, and Klan Yisrael Bezrat Hashem, may he be a good advocate for us in heaven Bezrat Hashem, for his family and for all Klan Yisrael Bezrat Hashem. I know, always, when we bought a present from Madlena, I used to tell her, tell, tell your husband this is for him, because he always tells you to come, and he gives the permission to come. Nachon, to read it, you'll get to the Baalek. That we thank him that he sends you to open the shul, Baruch Hashem, and to put a nice table and everything on it. It's a big thing. So, so dear ladies, this Shabbat is also Shabbat Mevarchim, Rosh Chodesh Elul. On this Shabbat, we bless the month of Elul, Besiyat Adishmaya. After reading from the Torah, the rabbi blesses the month. And Besiyat Adishmaya, I'm reminding you, please read a whole book of Tehillim. It's a big thing to read on Shabbat Mevarchim. Shabbat, when we bless the month, it's a big thing to finish the whole book of Tehillim. So if, if you can, you can do it at home and read the whole book. But if you can't, then when you come to the shul, Besiyat Adishmaya, and you divide it among of you, Baruch Hashem, this is a good thing. Tavu Alechem Abrachan. You'll be blessed. But if you can't come to shul, you have little children or you have something, then before Shabbat, divide it with all of your friends, and then even when you read on Shabbat, all of you together finish the whole book of Tehillim. And know that our sages say that when people do a mitzvah in a group, which means like we read Tehillim in a group, like we just did now, we read Tehillim in a group, it says that, that it's like each and every individual does the whole mitzvah on his own. So it's a big thing to read together. It's like each and every one of us read a whole book of Tehillim on his own. This is how it's big to do it together. Why? Because Hashem loves unity. That's what Hashem wants, our unity. So Parashat Ekev, there's so many things to speak about. But a yom, I will speak of a blinhead of the Siyat HaDishmer. Derech HaChafetz Chaim, by Ahabat Chesed, his book Ahabat Chesed. This is the opening, the introduction to his book. And the Siyat HaDishmer, and the Siyat Adishmaya, through Or Torah, so this is husband's Chaya Kohen. You remember I told you there's a, there's Or Torah, there's Or Torah. This is about all Hamishah Mushay Torah. This is a, a Yemenite book, but it's by the Pardes. It's very good, Baruch Hashem. It's really very good. It's all by the pardes, each parasha. And there's some, a few pages on each parasha, but it's so deep. 
It's very deep. So we will do something also from here, Bezrat Hashem. So let's start with the Chafet Shalom. Rabbi Pinchas ben Zacharia Kohen. You can take a picture at the end of the book from the outside. It's very good book. So we have a schut. So dear ladies, we are going to the Chafet Shalom, and he says there are three steps in in faith in Hashem, and all of them come from all of them come from Parashat Ekev which means walking in his way. You remember we always speak on Thursday when we speak about halacha 12.30, we have a Zoom together, and I always tell you that halacha, the commandment, is Dvar Hashem, is the word of Hashem, literally. That's why it's so important to have a rabbi if we have a question in halacha, and to ask him, and it should be the same rabbi, to ask him more halacha in order to know the halacha. So, how do we get the fear of Hashem, the love of Hashem, clinging to Hashem, and then having the image of Hashem, which Hashem created us in His image, in His likelihood. So, how do we get to these steps? So, the Chafetz Chaim says, all of this comes from Parashat Ekev. Because over here, we see, Zemamash, the beginning of Tomer Dvorah. The beginning of Tomer Bora. I have Tomer Bora over here. Mamash, the beginning of Tomer Bora. So why? Because the whole book of Tomer Bora, Shabbi Moshe called the verse for Ganalenu, is all about going in his way. Going in his way is following the commandments. And we learn from the Rambam, Mishneh Torah la Rambam, Ilchot Deot. You remember we learn he has also all, over there the whole chapter is about going in his way. So we go to. Parashat Ekev, chapter 8, verse 6, and it says, I will take a few colors now, because I want you to see. Veshamarta et mitzvot Hashem Elokecha, you should keep the commandments of Hashem your God. Lalechet bidrachav, you see, this is lalechet bidrachav, that I told you to walk in His way, to walk in His way. Beleira, and to have His fear. Velirauto, to have his fear. This is the mitzvah of walking in his way and to have his fear. This is one. We're, we're going to continue and then we're going to connect everything. The second verse from Parashat Ekev is chapter 10, verse 12. And it's written, it's written over there, Vata Israel, and now the children of Israel. Vata Israel, Ma Hashem Elokecha Shoel Mimach. What? Does Hashem, your God, ask from you? To fear your, Hashem, your God, again we see. So, so we see Lira, okay, um, Lira is the fear of Hashem. And over here, again the mitzvah of to follow his way, okay? And now to love him. You see it over here? And to love him, and to worship him, Hashem your God, with, with all of your heart and with all of your soul. Then we go to the verse, the third verse. So the third verse is from chapter 11. Again, everything is in Parashat Chapter 11 and then verse 20, 22. 20 seconds. So it's written in Kiim Shamot Ishmerun, if you will keep at Kola Mitzvah, all of the mitzvah, I'll put this like this. I'm sorry that the black one doesn't really write good. I don't know. All of the mitzvah. We have another black one? No, but these two are not working so well. At Kola Mitzvah Hazot, pay attention, Hazot. And all of this mitzvah, asher, asher, okay, but you look at it, asher, okay, this azot, we'll soon speak of it, asher anochi, which I am, metzabet chem, that I command you, la'asota, now it's written le'ava, okay, we did the love with blue. <laughs> 
No, no, I want all of the love to be in blue so we can see it, so I can explain after we do it together. So all of the love is in blue. Le'avai Hashem Elokechem, Hashem your God. Le'alechet bidrachav, again, to walk in His way. You see? So this we need to throw. No, no, no. No, no. We need to throw, they're not so good. And be'ledavkabo. Okay, I need another color. Le'davkabo. And to cling to Him. So let's see the logic behind it. All of this together. Look how beautiful it is. So how do we get to the <coughs> levels of fear, love, clinging to Hashem, and then having the image and likelihood of Hashem? Being what Hashem, this is the purpose of us coming to this world. So he says like this. He says, we'll go to the first verse. Everything is parashat ekev. And it says, in order to have the fear of Hashem, before that, there has to be walking in His way. Because that is killing its book. Walking in His way, which means we need to follow the commandments before that we have the fear of Hashem. When do we follow the commandments? When we have that Hashem. When we know Hashem. Because if we don't know and we don't understand that there's a creator and there's a boss to the world that created the world, we don't follow, we think that we're over here to do what, to, do, to have fun all the time and to do whatever we want with the evil inclination. So, the Siyat Adishma, first thing is the, is the measure of Yir'ah, of the fear of Hashem. But in order to get to the fear of Hashem, we have to walk in the way of Hashem. You see, Lalechet. So I'll do it like this. Lalechet bedarkei Hashem. Lalechet bidrachav. In order, to, in order to have the fear of Hashem, we need to follow Hashem's way. Which means to have that first. And then we go to the second verse, and it says, Vata Israel, and now it's the children of Israel, what does Hashem, your God, ask from you? It says, to fear Hashem, et Hashem Elokecha, lalechet bechol v'chav, again, to walk in His way, lalechet bidrachav, and then to come to the love of Hashem. In order to go to the next step of loving Hashem, we need to walk in His way. And you see it in the verse, in order to come to the love of Hashem. You see, ki im to have the fear, because we see in the first verse, in order to have the fear, we have to walk in Hashem's way. In order to have the love, to, to go from the stage of a fear, a fear, to the stage, fear of honor of Hashem, to the stage of love of Hashem, we have to follow His ways. And then the th third stage, if we will keep Tishmerun, it was enough to write Tishmeru. Again, we see the Nun. It's enough to write Tishmeru if you will listen. And over here, if Shamot Tishmerun, Kiim Shamot Tishmeru. We don't need the Nun. Why do we need Nun? The Nun symbolizes that if we walk in Hashem's way, we are opening 50 gates of wisdom, 50 gates of understanding for the whole world. Not only for ourselves, we are opening the opening of uh, wisdom. It's a The beginning of, of wisdom is the fear of Hashem. King David says in chapter 111 in Tehili. And then it says, King Solomon says, because of, of uh, humbleness, you, you get the fear of Hashem. Because if you're not humble, you think you're the king of the world, and that's it. There's nothing else. Only you are. It's me, 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 and again me, and, and I came over here just to take. I didn't, uh, we didn't come to give. But the purpose is we came to give. We came to fix over here. And we see, Baterachach, which means the wisdom of Shlomo Melech was very big. We'll explain it in a few minutes. Bni im chacham libcha. If your heart is your heart, where the battery is, where you decide to listen to the good inclination or to the bad inclination. So in the heart, if your heart is wise, 
Yismach libi, which means because your heart is wise and you have the fear and you are humble. Maze yismach. Yismach is Mashiach. You bring Mashiach. Maze libi, what is my heart? Yismach libi gamani. What is libi? Lamed is 30, Bet is 2, Yud is 10. How much is it together? 42. Mem Bet Shemot, Ana Bekoach. The, 40, the, the, the 42 names of Hashem. And then, Tassimu Lebni Im, Maze Im, Im Eliyahu is the Aleph, and Mashiach, and Mashiach is, is the man. And then we have Esther, Esther and Mordechai, everybody that took us out of exile of the Amalek. We have Moshe, we have Aaron, and Moshe. This is Im Chacham Mibcha. Why is it Im Chacham Mibcha? Look how beautiful our Torah is. Why Dabka wisdom? What does it mean, the wisdom? Because this is beautiful. I'm very excited. I have to tell you. <laughs> I saw this. Chacham, I saw this in the Siyat Adishma. You know, in, in the book of the Be'er Ma'im Chaim. Now, he has a beautiful, this book is beautiful. It's Hasidish, the Hasidut. Excellent, I love it. I made a, I said to him, I I'm going to study in your book because he wanted me to study. So I said, I'm going to study in your book, Bezrat Hashem. And we have a, a condition between us. Bezrat <laughs> Dishmaya. So Bezrat Dishmaya, he says like this, you know that King Solomon gave two halachot. One is Iru. You know, on Shabbat, from the public to the single place, I don't know exactly how to translate it, but Iru. The second one, is the netilat yadayim in the morning, okay? Yes, two things. Netilat yadayim, to, you don't believe it. When we do netilat yadayim, we, we spoke about netilat yadayim in the morning. And I told you that we raise our right hand first and then we move it to the, in order that we'll have judgment the whole, uh, we'll have mercy the whole day, all the judgment will be softened. But uh, the thing that I don't think that I mentioned here, that you have to uh, do this three times. Okay, hand to hand, three times. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, the water. Okay, okay. We did the netila. Now, you start with the water because say the bracha with the water. But you first do one, two, and three. Wait, 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 wait. After so you ask, wait. This is wait. You have to do. Why is three? Okay, why? Because hand. Okay, yad. Okay, yad. And you remember what is hand? Yad is literally. A hand in Hebrew, mamash, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The whole parts. Ten in numerical values, thirty yud. Four is dalet. Yad, literally yad. So yad is fourteen. The whole yad equals fourteen. Three times that we we do this, we wipe our hands like this when it's still. When it's with rub our hands when it's still wet, multiply by three. How much is it? Forty-two. Anna bekoa. And and by doing this, by doing this, we are like uh, we are partners of Hashem, the Siata Dishmaya of creating the whole day. Anna bekoa. Do not even at the end. Okay, the Siata Dishmaya. The mamash. That's why we do three times. In the morning, when you do it, you rub three times, you raise your hand, you say the bracha, the siyat of Ishmael. And then when you raise the bracha, ask questions at the end. When you raise your hands, it has to be next to your head. Why? Because we studied this. Okay? And the name of the tshuva of Hashem is 21. Double. It, it's 42, Anna Bekoach. Again, and Maze Asher, Asher is Rosh. So it goes from here, it goes from here, and this is the Rosh. We're doing a Yehud. We are united with Hashem Mamash. This is a big thing. So, what is Chacham? Why King Solomon? So you see over here, we said, Im, you see, it's Aaron be Moshe, Samur, the Chaeliyahu be Mashiach, be Ismach, the Mashiach, the letters of Mashiach. Nibi is again, Membet Otiyot, because Bereshit Barai Elokim et Hashemayim et Haaretz, Ve'al Zeta Tau Moror, Bechoshech Al Pnei Teon, Ve'roch Elokim Merechepet Al Pnei Amayim. So at the beginning, 
uh, everything was created with the 42 letters, the 42 names uh, of Hashem, Besiyat Adishman. But what is Ani? So Ani, me, is refers to Malchut, Malchut, kingdom. There are ten counts of Kabbalah. It starts with the crown, the crown, and it ends with kingdom. Okay? But kingdom is Ani, me, because everything is physical. And the crown is the same letters as Ayin. Which means, from where does the wisdom come? Because the Keter is, con is uh, concealed. So it comes, we don't see it. So it's I, it's the same letters, you see? You see it over here? It's mamash the same letters. So, Besiyat Adishma, what is Chacham? We didn't finish all this yet. But, but what is Chacham? <coughs> Look how beautiful it is. When a person has the wisdom of Hashem, has the fear of Hashem, the love of Hashem, and we'll continue with this, with the stages of worshiping Hashem. So when he has the wisdom, he can unite the children of Israel with Hashem and Hashem with the children of Israel and the whole world. With Hashem. Why? Because, just look, the Che, okay, let's do this. The Cha, the Cha, of the Chacham is Keter, is the crown. The name of Chacham of wisdom is Malchut. So there are ten counts of Kabbalah. The Chet is numeric value eight. It's all of the eight counts of Kabbalah in between the crown and Malchut. A wise person makes, unites Hashem and Kutshabrihu Beshemke with the children, all of the souls of the children of Israel. That's what Mashiach is going to do, the Siyat of Ishmael. He will unite. Everybody will have the knowing of Hashem in their hearts because everything is going to be united. So and we all will know that Hashem is everything and everything is Hashem. This is what Mashiach is going to do. So look, this is Mamash Bechacham. A person who is wise for that is very and it's written, Melachim Aleph, it's written over there, Vatarav Chochmat Shlomo, that the wisdom of King Solomon was very big, more than all Bnei Kedem. What is Bnei Kedem? Bnei Kedem, the Chazal said, our sages say, that these are the children of Abraham Avinu, that he sent them with presents in the time of Yitzchak, in order that they won't have part with Yitzchak. So he was wise from everyone. Vatarav Chochmat Shlomo. Bni Im Sarah, there's a beautiful song, there's a song but usually on Shabbat they sing it. Bni Im Pacham Nibcha Ismach Libi Gamani, it's a beautiful song for Shabbat, the Siyat Adishman. So, dear ladies, we see that the wisdom connects everything. So, what is wisdom? Men is 40, I'll write it over here, Kaf is 20, and Chet is 8. How much is it together? 68. What is 68? David, David. Israel, Chai Bekayam. King David is alive. I don't see well. Look, look. I'm taking the initials. Okay, Chai Bekayam. So I'm taking the initials of King David. The King of Israel is is alive and and exists. So we have from David, we have the Dalet. From Melech, King, we have the Men. From Yud, Israel, we have the Yud. From Chai, Live, we have the Che. From Bekayam, we have the Bab. Dalet is four, Men is four, Yud is ten, Che is eight, and Bab is six. How much is it together? Sixty-eight. You see Chacham. You see Wise. Because because of his wisdom that will be more than King Solomon, he will unite, Chacham unites all of the ten counts of Kabbalah. We'll see why I'm saying it in a few minutes. All the counts of Kabbalah. So what is 68? Chaim. Life. Because he who is wise and unites all of the ten counts of Kabbalah and the children of Israel with Hashem has life, brings life to the world which means he eats from the tree of life, which is the Torah. So Chet is eight, Yud is ten, another Yud is ten, Mem is forty, together it's 
68. You see? How does a wise person do what he does? By speaking, right? by having a good, a good, by having a mouth that has good jewelry, pearls come out, and diamonds come from this mouth. So, Arizal says, on Pesach, Bezrat Hashem, when we say Pesach, it's Pesach. There's a hay that is hidden, which means a mouth, Pesach. Okay? A hay that is hidden, Mazesach, Sach is speaking. Samech is 60, Chet is 8, together it's 68. Speaks, Chaim. Look how beautiful everything comes together. So a wise person, siyag lechok mashtika, he knows when to be silent, he knows when to speak, and the siyata lishma, how to do everything together. So we're going back to, to the table that we're doing over here. So we said the first verse shows us that we have to walk in the way of Hashem, Achafet Zayim says, and we come to the fear of Hashem. <coughs> then we, the second verse says we have to walk in the way of Hashem and we come to the love of Hashem. And the third one, over here, because we spoke about the noon, and call a mitzvah. When we keep the commandments, this is the will of Hashem, this is the word of Hashem. Look how beautiful it is. I can wipe this. Okay. I can wipe it. You took a picture? Yeah. Okay. You took? So I can wipe it. Okay, so look, look, let's go to the Aleph Bet, okay, let's go to the Aleph Bet, I'm writing it of Aleph Bet, Zimel Daled, Hei, Bar, Zayn, Te, Te, Yon, Cha, Lamed, Nen, Nun, Samech, Ayn, Te, Tzadi, Ku, Fresh, Shin, Betach, please ladies, listen, I'm writing mitzvah. In the word mitzvah, to do a, 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 the commandments, we have Bab Hei. We have the name, part of the name of Hashem. Okay. When we change the letters by Et Bash, which means the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet changes place with a, a last letter or the last with a first. Okay. Let's go to the main. So men is in the middle, so let's go. It's one from top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over here, mm -hmm. Okay, what is the ten letter from the beginning? Now, beginning to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yod. See? So the men changes with yod. Let's go to the tzaddik. One, two, three, four, five. Sadik is five, Nakon. So we get from the end to the beginning, it's five. So let's go from the beginning to the end. One, two, three, four, five. It's hey. He who keeps the mitzvot completes the name of Hashem. Yud K is Yud K Bab K. It's hidden because Hashem gave us the the schut to have the freedom of choice between doing His will or not doing His will. But over here, you see, when you follow the commandments, you complete the name of Hashem, literally. Isn't that beautiful? Mamash, mamash, anachnosi. So let's continue, Bezat Hashem. I'm writing kuf so I can I'll, I'll wipe it later. So, Besiat Adishmer, so if we keep the mitzvah, hazot, you know what hazot is. Azov means Besiat Adishmer, that we do tshuva, tzom kol bemamon, this is azot that we do by praying to Hashem, davening to Hashem, fasting to Hashem, making a ta'anit, and besiyat adishma giving tzedakah, asher is the rosh, we become a head, sota simalech hamelech, we become a king, because then the, the mind, the neshama controls the heart, the ruach, and the nefesh that is in the blood. So we become a king, anochi, anochi, Hashem elokecha, that we know that Hashem is our God, that took us out of Egypt, אנוכי אשר מלוקחה, אשר אנוכי מצבא אתכם לעשותה לאהבה, so we know he has the love, 
את השם אלוקיכם, את השם יוקד, ללכת again to walk in his way, I'll just wait for this to, to walk in his way, again to walk in his way, ללכת בדרכם, okay, to walk in his בסייעתא דשמיא ולדרכה בו. We come to the stage of clinging, of clinging to Hashem. What's the difference between love to Hashem and clinging to Hashem? Love, we, we can feel, you know, during the day we are so um, overwhelmed with everything that we need to do with our, with our parents, with our children, and everything. We don't have always a time to think about Hashem. So when we think about Hashem, we say thank you Hashem and we love Hashem. It's a big mitzvah to love Hashem. If you tell Hashem all the time that you love Him, בסייעתא דשמיא it's a big mitzvah. כתיבה וחתימה טובה. We'll speak about this. תזכירי לי בסוף להזכיר את זה. מי נהדר? תודה. So, בסייעתא דשמיא, so it's a big mitzvah to love Hashem. But we are engaged with other things during the day, so we don't think about it the whole day. But clinging to Hashem is that we are one with Hashem. That's what Mashiach will be. We see the Chacham, all of the ten counts, it's we are one with Hashem. And once we are one with Hashem Besiyata Dishmaya, then we love Him all the time. Because we always, we remember Him with everything that we do. All the time. With this is clinging to Hashem. And this is the purpose that we came over here. To know Hashem. Shiviti Hashem Lenegdi Kamim. King David says in Tehillim chapter 16, Shiviti Hashem Lenegdi Kamim. That I see Hashem in front of me all the time. So, dear ladies, we will go first over here. We'll go over here. And it says, in Be'or Torah, it says, Vata Yisrael, Ma Hashem Elokecha Sho'el Mimach. So, Vata Yisrael, Ma Hashem Elokecha Sho'el Mimach. So, now the children of Israel, what does Hashem ask for you? But it, I want to tell you something. There are two places that is, it's written, Vata Yisrael, only two places in the Mikra. Only two places, Chazal say, our sages, that it's written by Atai Yisrael. It's not a regular verse. Where is it written? Parashat Beit Hanan, that we read last week. It's written by Atai Yisrael, Shema el ha-chukim ve-la-mishpatim asher anokim et zave etchem ayom. Listen to all of the laws and the commandments that I command you today. That I command you to do, Slicha. And then we have the second one is Parashat Ekev, and it speaks, Vata Yisrael, Ma Hashem Elokecha, it speaks about to have the fear of Hashem and the love of Hashem. So, there are people who will say that in Sanhedrin, page 106, Amud Bet, it's written, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Liba Ba'ayit, which means that Hashem wants your heart. So there are people who say, okay, so it's enough that I have good character traits. I'm good to other people, I don't hurt anyone, uh, and I am considerate, so if I do that, then I don't need to follow the commandments. Chas v'shalom. That's why Moshe Rabbeinu, this is the wisdom of Moshe Rabbeinu, that's why Moshe Rabbeinu put in Parashat Beit Hanan, Ve'ata Yisrael, there are only two places, Beit Hanan Ve'ekev. Ekev comes after Beit Hanan. So he says, Vata Yisrael, now the children of Israel, Shema el ha-chukim ve la-mishpatim. You have to follow, la-lechet bidracham. You have to follow the way of Hashem, to follow the, the laws and the commandments of Hashem, and then you come to the fear of Hashem, the love of Hashem, and clinging to Hashem. That's why it's Parashat Vat Hanan first, because it comes before Parashat Ekev, he uses the same verse, Vata Yisrael, only two places, Vait Hanan and, and also Ve'ekev. But Vait Hanan is to follow the way of Hashem. You have to follow the commandments because this is the will of Hashem, this is the word of Hashem. And Parashat Ekev, it says, if you follow, Lalechet Bidracha, Shema El Achukim Ve'el Amishpatim, you'll follow his ways, his commandments, then you come to the fear of Hashem and the love of Hashem and clinging to Hashem. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. This is the way how we need to do it, the Siyad Adishmer. So let's go and see and continue. 
So, Vata Israel, Ma Hashem Elokecha, Shoel Meimach. We're going over here. So he says, Kach. Amur Abotenu Zechonam Livracha, that our sages says, Al Tikri Ma, don't read Ma, Ela Mea, a hundred. Ki, Vesiyat Adishmaya, why a hundred? Because everybody has to say a hundred blessings a day. This is from Moshe Rabbeinu, that when it, it came in the time of King David, because they stopped doing it, and, and King David counted the children of Israel, and he shouldn't have counted them, and the Yetzirah was controlling them, so every day by a plague, a hundred, Lo Aleinu, died. So King David renewed this, that every day a hundred blessings a day should be, why a hundred? Because it's written, Ma, what? So where is the Aleph? What happened to the Aleph? It's beautiful. Bezrat Hashem. What happened to the Aleph? Bezrat Hashem. Okay. Okay. So, dear ladies, why? Let's see. We said ma, ma. Okay. What does Hashem want from you? Ma So let's look at it together. So let's look at the mem and the hey. Again, we're going to the mem. Mem, you remember from the be'et bash, okay? So mem, we're going to the end, to the beginning. Taf is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we said it's yud, nachon, from the beginning to the end, okay? So mem is yud. Then we go to the hey. Hey is one, two, three, four, five, nachon? So we go to from the end to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. This is the tzaddik. Okay. Yud is 10 in numerical value. Tzaddik is 90. Together it's 100. Wow. Wait, so it's 100 blessing. What happened to the Aleph? <laughs> what happened to the Aleph? It says don't read ma, what? Read 100. The Aleph. What happened to the Aleph over here? <laughs> Look, it's ma. It says that should be a, a Aleph over here. Where did the Aleph go? Aleph is alufo shalolam. Is Hashem, nachon? So what happened is when we don't listen to Hashem, we cause the, the, the um, measure of mercy to become measure of judgment. And when we do listen to Hashem, we cause the measure of judgment to become measure of mercy. So if we don't listen to Hashem, then the me, Ma, which is the name of Hashem, because Ma, numerical value, Mem is 40, He is 5, together it's 45. It's Yud K Vav K with, uh, with the letters of Aleph inside. It's Yud Vav Dalet, this is the Yud, and then the He is He and the letter Aleph, and then the Vav is the letter Vav and the letter Aleph and the letter Vav, and then the last day again is the letter He and the letter Aleph. All of this is 45 the name of mercy of Hashem. But, again, it depends on our actions. We influence everything that happens, you'll see in a minute. So, what happens, I'll take the mem, so mem is mem and mem. I write it the way we hear it, okay? And hey is the hey, I write kuf, but it's hey, okay? I can't wipe the word, and aleph. Mem is 40, another mem is 40, together it's 80. Hey is five, and aleph is one, Together it's six. Together it's 86. 86 is Elohim, the name of judgment of Hashem. We cause by our actions, not listening to Hashem, we cause the measure of mercy to become measure of judgment. Mamash, we're doing it. This and all, everything is happening truly by our actions. We don't think that it influences everything like, like this, but it's mamash happening. But look how beautiful the Torah of Hashem is. So we put the Aleph, we put Hashem inside <laughs> because we want to do everything in the will of Hashem. So this is a hundred. Let's continue. Wait, let's continue and see what it says over here. Uh, so it says, Why do we need to say a hundred blessings a day? And we saw it because Ma Be'et Bash is really a Yud and Sadiq, Yud and Sadiq, Yud is 10, Sadiq is 90 together. It's a hundred. So it says, as why do we need to do it so we can understand? 
ושמא יש לומר הכוונה שכוונת הברכה היא להמשיך השפע למטה, because the purpose of the bracha that we are doing, the prayers that we are doing is in order to open the gates of prosperity that the light, the eternal light of Hashem will come to this world. ממקור הברכות יתברך שמו, directly from, the, from Hashem, it's the internal light of Hashem. כי ברוך, the word ברוך בסייעתא דשמיא, it's beautiful, ברוך, the word ברוך is the keter, it's the crown, because it's blessings. And בית ריש, וו חב, וו חב, is חב וו, it's 26, חב is 20, וו is 6, it's the name of Hashem with כ' וו כ'. וזה הבית זה בראשית. בראשית ברא אלוקים, והרי זה ראש, because the keter is ראש, ראש is the head, and the keter, the crown is the head. So it says, כי ברוך הוא בכתר, ואתה, ברוך אתה, אתה, is בחוכמה, in wisdom. כי אתה אבינו, because you are, uh, for, you are a father, we say to Hashem, תתה, you are our father. וידוע גם כן שהשפע נמשך תחילה, that when we say, when we say the bracha, when we govern to Hashem, when we pray to Hashem, the, the beginning of the prosperity of the light, the internal light of Hashem, it נמשך תחילה אל י' ספירות, first to the ten counts, all of the ten counts of the Kabbalah. ואחר כך הם משפיעים על נשמות ישראל, then it goes down to the souls of the children of Israel, And that are underneath this, and then it comes to the whole world. Besiyat al-Ishmael. V'achar kach yored ha-shefa mata mata, it continues to go down, but this is by the blessings of the children of Israel. V'gam yadu ha-ken sh'ayut sfirot, that all of the ten counts of the Kabbalah, ya'alu le-mea, they're also a hundred. Why? Because each count of Kabbalah consists all of the other tens that are in. כתר שבחוכמה, כתר שבכתר, crown in a crown, כתר שבחוכמה, crown in, in, in wisdom, crown in understanding, crown, each one has ten, parallel to all of the ten, so ten multiplied by ten, is a hundred, בסייעתא דשמיא. ברכות, and it says, כלו לפיכך אנו צריכים בכל יום, because of this we need a hundred blessings every day in order that Hashem will bestow bestow his kindness upon the world, Be'ezrat Hashem, that Hashem will bestow his kindness upon the world by the children of Israel that standing Be'ezrat Hashem and davening to Hashem, praying to Hashem, and doing the will of Hashem. And, and Moshe Rabbeinu, by his wisdom, Be'ezrat Hashem, he is the one, because the Torah, the Torah is wisdom. The Torah was created from wisdom. How do we know this? So we take, I'm going to wipe the board. I can wipe the board? Okay. So we'll, I'll write it over here. The Torah is wisdom. It comes from wisdom. So what is wisdom? The Chokhmah in Hebrew. Chokhmah in Hebrew, okay? So let's write it like we hear it. Che, you taf, okay? Cha, mem, and then we have he. Okay, I'm writing this with four. So Chet is eight, Yud is 10, Taf is 400. You'll see how beautiful it is, 418. Chaf is 20, Pei is 80, together it's 100. Mem, Mem is 40, another Mem is 40, it's 80. Hey is five, Yud is 10, it's 15. How much is it together? 613. What is 613? That's 613 commandments. 613 commandments, Taryad Mitzvot, the Oraita from the Torah. But who is 613? Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe that gave that to Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe, Mem is 40, Shin is 300, and oh. He is 5, it's 345. Nahon? Now Reish is 200. Bet is two, Yud is 10, Nun is 50, and Bab is six. How much is it together? 260, 268, together. 345 plus 268 is 613. 613 per mitzvot. So dear ladies, if you, 
with these words, <laughs> this is the Ruch Hashem, Enot Milvado, there's nothing else but Hashem. Ben Korat Yosef, Ben Korat Yosef, what Hashem gives me, I, I share it with all of you. That's the beauty of, of, of Hashem's Torah. We dive together into the ocean of Hashem. So you see, this is called Parshat Ekev. From this we learn how to worship Hashem and how to, be, to have the fear of Hashem by walking in His way. So you see over here, it's not enough to have a good heart. We have to walk in, in the way of Hashem. We have to walk in the way of Hashem and gain His fear. To, have, to walk in the way of Hashem to, gain his, to have His love. And to walk in the way of Hashem in order to cling to Hashem. So, dear ladies, it's a big mitzvah. You remember that we spoke from Tu Be'am, from the 15th of Menachem Ab, to say, Ktiba Bechatima Tova, Asher Ktiba Bechatima Tova, for us and Klal Israel. It's a big mitzvah to do it. And, oh, and, and, and there was a, a video, and I'm going to tell you over here, and I'll remind it to you because it brings luck to our home and good Parnassah. So the, um, there was a video from Mida Boot, and uh, it spoke about three, uh, three things that should be on the table. Hashem, oh. Because Barashat Ekev speaks also about all the blessings of the food and everything we just, that we spoke about. So it's good to have on the table salt, bread, and satar. I don't know how to say that in English. No, I don't know how to say that in English. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's salt. Let me explain. Salt, salt, bread, and zata. So how do you put it on your... You know that you have... You open your mazal. How do you open your mazal? Because the Siyat HaDishmaya salt... Here. Let me write it on the board so that everybody... I can write. Okay, look over here. Let me write it on the board, you will see. Salt, melach, again this. Melach, melach, zata, and, um, and from the lechem. Okay? Zata, and I think it's a alef gun. אני חושבת שיש לו אלף. אוקיי, אני חושבת שיש לו גם אלף, אבל בכל מקרה, בנות יקרות, מלח, סולט, it starts with a mem, זאטה starts with a זין, and לחם starts, bread starts with a למד מזל. And now that זאטה is very good בסייעת הדשמאה to keep you from evil eye and everything that is not good. So you can make yourself in a bottle, you put salt, yeah, in a jar, you yeah. can put a, bread a, a, um, breadcrumbs. Yes, you put salt, you put zata on it. It's, it's green, so you put the salt, you put zata, and you put um, croutons, croutons yeah, on croutons. it, so the bread won't be oh. ruined. Put croutons on it and close oh, the bottle. Croutoni. Ah, croutons. Yeah. Yeah. So and you close it and you put it on. <laughs> and you put it like as a low cigar. Okay, so you and if you put it on the table all the time. It brings luck. Yes. But my husband said Aesha also gets Yes. But this, this is a combination of mazal. Ezov, Ezov, yes. But this is a combination of mazal. It's good to be on the table. Okay, let's bless every now that everybody, Bezrat Hashem, that we all have the schut to greet Mashiach, to come back to the Lord, Amen, Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Sakhu Latov, Lola Mi Peret Adam Mecha Barov, Bedvar Alakha Yachid, Berabim Alakha Kerabim. Amen. Talinu Betov, Etakitsu Bishua Barachamim, Ketiba Bechatima Tova. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem.